everybody welcome to another junk journal with me video in this video I'm gonna be creating or working on three pages or three spreads but I'm not really doing any sort of memory keeping or documenting or anything I just felt like being creative and playing with stickers and washi and stamping and collaging things and you know that's just that's one of the things I kind of really love about junk journaling is that you don't have to do memory keeping you don't have to document anything in particular you don't have to do like a diary page or whatever like you might feel like you have to do in a on a scrapbook layout or something sometimes it's nice to just play with your creative bits and pieces and create something pretty you know i think it's it's good for the soul to be able to do that Anyways, I'll step down off my pedestal now and talk about what I'm doing. So on this first spread, I had these three little teeny tiny photos, kind of stamp size, maybe a bit bigger. Um, I was just playing with them there, there. Oh, there they are in the top corner. Um, those are, so basically I do my own photo printing at home, but I don't have like a proper photo printer, like a Canon selfie or anything like that. I just use my own normal printer and photo paper. And so when I sort of, go to print photos and I sort of create collage them all on the page there's usually little white spaces which I don't want to waste because photo paper isn't cheap so I just print photos really really small in those spaces and just use them for times like this when I want something pretty to stick in my journal so I've got one picture that's just of a butterfly that I took in the garden and then two pictures which were taken at roughly the same time of a duck and her ducklings and they were just so so cute i think she had like eight or nine of them bless her very tired duck i think anyways as i said they were super cute so that's what i'm just documenting here i've done some just like collaging of some scraps and paper and stuff and um, the ink i was using just to add that little green in the background was oxide in the color old paper um here i'm doing some stamping on some conqueror vellum paper that's um a case craft sort of it's supposed to be a chinese blossom but i thought if i use that archival ink which is peat moss it would kind of look a little bit like duckweed or pondweed and i could use that to back the duck photos and i think it kind of works actually um the the stickers that have the little phrases on that say like i must have flowers always and always those are from my watercolor florals collection in my shop but i accidentally printed a load in black and white because i am a numpty but i decided to cut them and keep them for myself so that's where those have come from um and i did some other stamping here and there just to make the background a little bit more interesting ripped up that conqueror paper just to plop the ducks down like so. Towards the beginning as well you may have seen me play with an envelope that's got butterflies on. That was sent to me um, a while back by someone very kindly and it is a really beautiful envelope and it has the same kind of butterfly on that was in my picture so I thought I would use that. It had beautiful like writing paper inside it which I'm, I took out and I'm going to use it for something else another day but I wanted to add that as well as I said because it just matches the butterfly perfectly and then where I'm going to sort of stick down the flap of the envelope I just added like washi and stuff just to make the background a bit more interesting throwing a load of butterfly stickers on here, stapling a scrap of uh, flowery vellum, cause why not? These are Tim Holtz clipping stickers that I'm using here and just little things, like it says like little things and beautiful things. And there was something about like, uh, just dive in or adventure or something because in the bottom duck picture, they were all like waddling down to the down to the pond so i thought that would work quite well it's quite sweet so i'm just attaching that envelope onto that sort of fold out bit there um added a little bit too much glue so i'm covering that up with washi so it doesn't stick to anything else and then i just wrote a little quote about um like appreciating little things and taking delight in small things on the envelope and then I ran out of room for like the last phrase, so I just wrote that on that little white space that was in the middle. And then I had written this thing about gratitude that I found online. I was just playing with my fountain pens of working on lettering and stuff, and I thought I would put it in that envelope. Just, you know, again, about like appreciating little things and all that sort of thing. Had to cut down the paper just a smidge because it was a little bit too wide. It's probably, the envelope is probably designed for American size letter paper rather than the A4 than it actually was. And that is that spread pretty much done. So this next one is going to be somewhat different. I am playing with my 
Gothic Halloween and Skulls and Roses collections from my shop and just kind of making a spooky Halloween-y skull spread which really doesn't have anything on apart from a load of stickers and stuff. I was just I was just enjoying myself to be honest. I'm adding some rub-ons here because I just I remembered these ones that I had in my stash which are kind of vaguely spooky. There's one that's like Latin in the gothic style writing, there's a skeleton and a um Oh my goodness, my mind has gone totally blank on the name of that thing. Sand, timer, flippy thing, whatever it's called. And then just some scraps of washi that's just got writing on. I've got this sticker, vellum sticker of like the Edwardian or Victorian lady, which I stole from shop stock because I just thought it was so pretty. But I do have more for this shop as well, so I haven't stolen everything. Uh, that clock sticker as well was also stolen from shop stock, as I do. And then I'm going to bring in some of my own designed ephemera and stickers. So I've got like this little graveyard scene, which I'm going to put down. Um, I'm going around the edges of a lot of things with Distress Oxide in, I did write it down, Hickory Smoke, just so like it calms or tones down those white edges a bit, but not as dramatically as black ink would do, I think. Um, and then just, as I said, adding a load of the stickers and stuff. Um, like that pack of ephemera there was slightly miscut, so I couldn't sell it in the shop, so I kept it for myself. So I've got to use it, obviously. Um, so again, with the rose, adding the, the hickory smoke around it just, and it makes it kind of a little more gothic and spooky, I think, when you do stuff like that. Uh, I wanted to add one of the ravens from the collection in here, just because I knew I was going to write on this spread a little bit of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. So I was like, well, we're going to have a raven on here, just so, you know, it makes a little bit of sense. So I plopped that guy down there, adding my moth. It's a death head's moth. Death's head, death, pfft, death's head, moth, there we go. And just, yeah, sticking and plonking, sticking and plonking over and over and over again. As I said, it, there is just like, there's no reason for this. This is just me playing with my, with my own stickers. And yeah, and also I really like this collection. This is really, really my kind of thing. So even though I haven't done like spreads based on all the other collections that I've created, I had to do one for this one just because the skulls and the bats and everything, very much my jam. So on the back of this little bookmark is where I'm writing like the opening lines to Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven in some red shimmery ink. I'm going to add some splatters in both black and red. Both of those are Heidi Swap colour shine, so they are shimmery. I left that to dry for a good few hours actually because the Heidi Swap colour shine can get a little bit sticky to be honest so yeah I do give it quite a while to dry. Uh, tipping in that little bookmark with the bit of the poem on with some spiderweb washi. Adding a few more of the Skulls and Roses stickers and then I wanted to add another raven because why not. And then in the background you can also see that I'm melting some wax beads, a red one and a black one, because I'll do a little wax seal stamp on there soon enough. These stickers I'm putting down are from the Pink Paisley Spellbound collection, which is from, I'm going to say 2017, I think. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it is. I'm anyway, putting down my wax here and then my wax seal is a skull one. Um, I probably won't be able to link that because I bought it from Paper Chase quite a long time ago. But with that, I think my spooky pages are done. And I'm just going to finish off with one little one side page here just because I just felt like doing one little extra thing. That there was some packaging for some stickers that I bought. So I cut off the bit that said like the brand and what was in it and stuff. And it obviously has that little window through it. So I thought it would make a really nice pocket covering up some other text that was on it just with some washi. This washi I'm using is Tim Holtz washi, which does have a name for the tube of washi, but I can't remember what it is. But I'm just tearing that up and putting it up the side so we get that nice ripped effect. This vellum scrap I'm using is from one of those Paper Mania packs. Um, they like the ultimate die cut packs or whatever they call them. They usually have like really pretty vellum in. So that is where that is from. And I'm just sort of that having that as like a cover or a tip in in front of the page. Obviously you can see through it, you can see under it, but it's just a nice added pretty layer. 
Um, I thought in my little pocket as well, I didn't want it just to see the white background when I took out anything from the pocket. So I've just ripped up a little scrap of an old book page and put that in there as backing. And then here I have that scrap that I'd use to do the stamping and stuff to back the duck photos. I thought I might as well use this scrap of paper. It's got that stamping on it, which with the green goes with the very florally vibe of this page. And I'm going around that with that old paper again, just to add to that greeniness, just make it look a little bit more florally natural, something or other. And then I am writing a poem on there, which is Alfred Lord Tennyson's, uh, it's called, it's either called The Weed or The Flower, I've totally blanked on that, but it's, it's just a poem about like a, a flower that people think is a weed, but anyways, it's just when I feel like being creative, I still want to write things, but I don't necessarily want to write anything about myself. So I think just adding like poetry or song lyrics, or I don't know, quotes from from films or what, whatever, book quotes, whatever, is just something nice to add because you feel like you've written something. It's nice to see writing in your own journal, but it doesn't have to be like, dear diary, today I did this, blah, 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 which there's nothing wrong with. I do that every day, but Anyways, that gives you an idea of what I tend to write in my junk journals. So those are the pages I worked on for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. I will leave links down in the description box to stuff that I've mentioned from my shop as well as other items used as well. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Chat to me down in the comments and I'm going. Thanks again. Bye bye.